Good morning. Today is I don't remember, I don't even know the day. The eighth. It's February eighth, Thursday. We are on our way. Brian's taking me to the hospital to get the cyst on my neck removed. Finally, um, today was also check-in day with my coach. I am still the same weight I was at last week, 108.8. .8. My weight has been really weird this week, actually. I started some new supplements, and as soon as I started them, my weight jumped up to 112, and then one. it was just really weird. So I, I took those out, um, some of them. I'm just experimenting. Whenever I have a fluctuation like that and I did something new, it's just an experiment. You know, I'm gonna take the supplement out or adjust other supplements or adjust the timing or the dosage. So I'm just playing around right now trying to figure out, um, I mean, my weight's back down today, but um, I feel tighter and I feel like I should be less than I was last week. But um, so I'm just, frozen. I'm gonna experiment and I'll keep you updated on how that works. Um, and I got my eyebrows microbladed yesterday. So they're very dark, very severe right now. That is normal. Um, it hasn't even been 24 hours. So they're still like black looking, but she did, you know, dark brown, obviously. Use the right um, lane to turn right to merge onto I-95 South toward Miami. So no mean comments on my eyebrows. They're going to fade and look beautiful. Turn right. Um, but I'm excited about them. I have terrible eyebrows and I always have to draw them on. So it's gonna be nice to like just live and not have to worry about drawing my eyebrows on just to like go get some coffee. So I am going to get going to this appointment. I'm thirsty and I'm starving. Um, I want some coffee, that'd be nice. I can't drink anything, so I'm suffering right now. My mouth is so dry. So I'm just looking forward to getting this done. I meal prep some pancakes and egg whites. So right after, I have them in my bag with some Walden Farms, chocolate chip pancakes and egg whites to in like reward me. Miles. Take exit 41 onto Southwest 10th Street, NFL 869 towards Sawgrass Expressway. To reward me from, you know, suffering from getting this out. Oh, I'm so scared, but um, Brian's stressing out over here, so I'm gonna go and I will see you guys later. Bye. Out of surgery. Oh my god, thank god. Can I just say I have such a fucking headache because I need coffee. Brian brought me this. Like, I, the nurses were like, Do you need anything? And I was like, I need my husband. I need my husband. He has Starbucks. <laughs> I chugged it like in five seconds. They were like, Where's your coffee? And I'm like, in my tummy, but I don't have a bump on my neck. I don't have a bump on my neck. Oh my God, do you know how many people message me on Instagram and ask me if I'm aware of the bump on my neck and if I have cancer, like constantly. <sighs> I'm starving. I ate egg whites as soon as I was able. <laughs> they were like, you should eat soft food, and I'm like, I'm good. I have egg whites. And now I have chocolate chip pancakes that I meal prepped with my Walden Farms. I am going to eat this up. I'm so excited. It's such a beautiful day. I feel great. I feel awesome. I'm a little sleepy and woozy because I had anesthesia. But, um, yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna get to eating my chocolate chip pancakes. And I don't know. I'll either see you later today or tomorrow. I have to take it easy. Um, the doctor is like telling me over and over again, like reiterating, don't work out for a week, but.
morning guys today ooh, today is first day after surgery I have a nice big breakfast it's a rest day obviously but I fuel my body in the morning with a nice big breakfast I have three slices of toast I made avocado toast and I just buy pre-made guacamole so easy but so good and I put an over easy egg over the top so it's runny and delicious and then I just have some egg whites and asparagus really simple but I hit all you know of my macros carbs fats and really lean protein so I am going to get eating and then I'm gonna get some journaling in um, and plan out my day go for a walk but um, I'll see you soon don't ask God to help you function better in your dysfunction, ask him for your dreams. Ask him for new levels. Ask him for explosive blessings. Ask him to propel you into your purpose. This is what a lady I know did. She has four small grandchildren that she ended up having to raise. She wasn't planning on it. Something happened with her daughter. And at first, she was a little discouraged, not knowing how it was going to work out. Three of these children were in private school. It was very expensive and this grandmother didn't have the extra funds. She could have prayed from a slave mentality. God is not fair. I'll never be able to really provide for my grandchildren. Just help us to survive. Instead, she had this boldness to ask big. She said, God, I don't have the funds to keep my grandchildren in private school, but I know you own it all. You're a God of abundance. God, I'm asking you to make a way, even though I don't see how it could ever happen. She owed a small amount for them to finish that first year. She went up to the school to pay and the secretary called up her records on the computer and said, no, you don't owe anything. Everything's all paid up. And she said, that couldn't be. I have the notice right here. This says that I owe this amount. Secretary turned the monitor around and said, no, ma'am. It says right here, all three of these children's tuitions have been paid not only for the rest of this year, but all the way through the eighth grade. An anonymous donor stepped up, prepaid it for years to come. Friends, God can make things happen that you could never make happen. He's already placed abundance in your future. He's already lined up the right people, the breaks you need, doors to open that you could never open. My question is, are you asking big? Or are you letting your circumstances, how you were raised, what somebody said, talk you out of it? If you go through life only praying, barely get by prayers, you'll miss the fullness of your destiny. But when you get this in your spirit, that the God who breathed life into you, the God who called you, set you apart, crowned you with favor, is a more than enough God, an abundant God, an overflowing God, then you'll have this boldness to ask for big things. Not to just manage the addiction, but to be free from the addiction. Not to just pay your bills, but to be totally out of debt so you can be a blessing to others. Not to just see your child get back on the right course, but that God would use him to make his mark in this generation. Hey, babe. Cold brew. And a lot of clients are asking me about Valentine's Day, uh, what to do. And honestly, Valentine's Day is not something that I will, you know, like, I don't want to say let my client just have like a free day um, because it's not a holiday. It's not like Christmas with your family. It's different. Um, there are ways to eat clean, eat good, stay on your diet, stay on your macros for Valentine's Day. I don't see the need to go crazy. Um, Ryan and I are going to Seasons 52. If you have Seasons 52 by you, it's a really nice restaurant with everything in my fitness pal. Um, all the calories, everything. So and it's a nice restaurant. So we are going and enjoying. I already vlogged my Valentine's Day. I have a, I did. <laughs> I have a salad, um, a, I love pears. Those are my favorite fruit. And there's a caramelized pear and burrata salad. That sounds so good. Burrata. So burrata, yeah. So I logged that. And then I also logged filet mignon with like a red wine sauce and mashed potatoes and some type of vegetable. Like how great, how great does that sound? Go to Cheesecake Factory, look around like Google and see 
see the restaurants in your area and just look them up in my fitness pal you never know um brio is an also a really great italian restaurant that's in my fitness pal so there are options if you're going somewhere that absolutely is not in my fitness pal then you can either choose something on the menu that you can easily track like a nice like you can have a really fantastic dinner with a nice clean fish like a nice white fish like sea bass or something like that i love sea bass um and a vegetable and a carb and it doesn't have to be this crazy gluttonous meal it's up to you if you want to have a really gluttonous meal and go crazy that's on you and you just have to accept that and don't dwell on it for the rest of the week you know you make that decision for yourself and then just be done with it um it's just valentine's day make dinner at home we've done that before make a really great dinner at home we've baked a whole fish we've done home we've done gnocchi um so many options honestly but it's it's not that big of a deal if you want to enjoy and go over and kind of like not think about macros on that day then do so but the only thing I'm gonna ask of you is to not dwell on it for the rest of the week because what's the point? If you're allowing yourself that free meal, that meal with your husband, boyfriend, whoever, then enjoy it and then the next day just get right back on your plan. If you know, if if in that moment at dinner, like you're reflecting back and you're like, damn, I really overdid it, then just lower your carbs, lower your fats, fats especially the next day, maybe the next two days, throw in an extra cardio session, but overall, Think about Valentine's Day ahead of time and just don't dwell on it if you if you decide to go over. That's your prerogative, your decision. You're in control of what goes into your mouth. So if you know that you're gonna go over and you're okay with that, then that's awesome. Good for you. You should have balance. Us, we're on bikini prep. We're on bikini prep. We're on prep. Um, but we still want to enjoy our day, our Valentine's Day together. So we're gonna enjoy season 52. I am going to make sure that we both get a workout in before dinner and have Seasons 52 be our post-workout meal. Um, it just happens to be our refeed day. Usually I have my refeed day on either Saturday or Sunday, but because I got my cyst removed, I can't work out. So I'm going to push my refeed back to a day that I can work out and then just have my refeed day be on Valentine's Day, which is awesome. So those are just my little tips uh, for Valentine's Day. Don't stress. Think about it ahead of time. Maybe do some pre-planning if you want to. If you have goals, don't throw all your goals away just for one day for valentine's day that's silly but i'm gonna enjoy my nice warm big bowl of oats yum get some more work done and i will see you guys tomorrow uh tomorrow we have posing practice at 9 30 in the morning so i will try to get some clips of that uh, for both of us so see you guys tomorrow